What's up everybody, it's your boy here coming at you with a playthrough of Earth Defense Force for the Super Nintendo. Not to be mistaken by the other game series named the exact same title. This one's a side scroller shooter in the same likeness as the Great A series, which was a genre that was pretty popular back in the early generations of console gaming. Especially around the 90s. Now, not everyone's gonna remember this game, but I'm sure a fair amount of you will. I mean, I remember it as a fairly difficult game back then, and by difficult, I mean completing every stage without missing a single opponent, especially if you plan on doing it with the weapon we're about to use. So, right away, let's just get right into the options here and set it to the highest difficulty. I mean, there's no point in doing a playthrough of a game on normal mode. This is the weapon select screen. Different weapons do different shooting patterns with varying degrees of damage per projectile. In this playthrough, we'll be using Photon, a weapon that's considered pretty difficult to complete the game with due to its very unique nature, which you're about to see. So right away, if you look above my screen, I immediately increase my movement to be level to max at 75 by the 3 hours pointing to the right. This allows me to maneuver quicker, which will be very necessary throughout the game. I'm sure you figured out by now that this weapon allows you to hold down the fire button to maintain this sort of like shield-like function. One of the great things about Proton is that despite how difficult it is to use for beginners, it's got an extremely high damage output. Most of these enemies you've seen me destroy so far, such as those tank looking things, would normally take a few seconds of hitting on most of the other weapons. Releasing the button of course fires the charge shot. At full charge it deals massive damage. I think the strongest in the game. This weapon definitely makes bosses extremely quick and easy to kill, as you'll see later. And right here we're about to enter a sequence that's pretty hard to complete with Photon as you have to choose the right ones to destroy at the right time or else they get away before you finish them. I think it's like right around here. boss right here. Right away, it's about to get destroyed. So as you can see, Photon is extremely powerful, especially when playing bosses. I forgot to mention that Photon can also block enemy projectiles, but only the fireball types. Things would actually normally take a few seconds of hitting from any other weapon, but two hits, fully charged from full time. The stage boss should be coming over soon. There it is. This one's pretty easy, just stay next to it with Photon to deal extra damage while you're waiting for the charge shot. Many people actually never realized back then that releasing, releasing the shot like this actually does far more damage than simply maintaining it the entire time. There we go, only took a few seconds. We're heading to the second level next. This level is a little harder to complete with Photon unless you're trying to cheat with TAS. Actually, I'm not even 100% I can do 10 sounds out of 10 tries, but for the sake of this playthrough, I'll hope for the best. This stage has beautiful enemy patterns, that's for sure. You have to be very precise in the kill power and kill order if you want to. 
thing I forgot to mention is you, know, you gain the XP as shown by the red gauge at the top of my screen here. Apparently I don't really care. But you gain a huge bonus for completing entire waves or sets. So if you want to level up as fast as possible, you'll want to finish every last one in a set to gain that bonus. You can even notice the gauge fill up quicker with every bonus I achieve when I miss the two um, enemies there. Levels increase weapon damage, and after level 5, grants you extra shields, which will allow you to take more hits. Also, level 3 allows you to have a third mode with your satellites. I should probably shut up here so I can play like, myself, that which is not happening. I'm actually pretty glad I bought a controller for this, because this might be pretty retarded to attend what I really keep on. actually the actual boss of the stage. Extremely easy, especially with Photon. Of course you can't block those purple things and shoot out the Photon. Definitely an easy stage no matter what weapon you're using. pretty much, I guess, the enemy's counterpart to you. I mean, he even has his own satellites, just like you. Nothing but easy enemy waves here. One thing to note, I guess, is the game has very creative enemy designs, especially for the time that it was made. As you can see, it blocks all, like, fire-based projectiles.
quick and easy. It's a fairly slow level. It's probably the slowest level in the game. Uh, many of these enemies would actually get to last long enough to fire anything if I wasn't using full time. Same tactic. Press and release. And somehow the boss reveals itself to be a giant trap. Imagine that. I don't know why anyone would think if there was anything militarily strategic about building their ship and ship and ship. Stretch my hands here for a sec. Fingers are hurting keeping that button down. Okay, here we go. By the way, games back then actually put effort into their soundtracks. Some still do that today, but very few. This level, by the way, I'm gonna add to it. Satellites you have, they go to where the opponents are automatically. You get this at level 5. Satellites don't move that fast, so you kind of have to work with them and manage your attacks and releases along, along with the plane's damage to help complete waves. At 
on enemy patterns, though, it'll fail to perform. Like right here. Photon is extremely strong against bosses. On to the fifth stage. Back ones actually take some timing here. There's other ways such as dodging it, but we're not bitches here, are we? And that was mode two earlier. This is the mini boss, I think. that now. I'm not trying to make my life harder by breaking those meteors into smaller pieces of okay? Switching to mode 2 here to clear this wave. And back to mode 4. You gotta be smart about the modes, of course. Play through this game a couple times before this recording to memorize what's incoming. See those enemies down there swirling its way towards me? You actually don't want to use mode 4 here, as satellites start trying to follow those, even if they're not killable yet. Whoops, 
got impatient there. That was the shittiest landing animation ever. The next one is the sixth and final stage, which happens to be my second favorite stage. The first one being the fourth one earlier. You just gotta avoid these guys as they're unkillable anyway. Wow, I'm really bad. Looks like these guys received the paint job. I think they're supposed to last longer too, but you know, we're level 5 right now. So Photon is doing a hell of a lot of damage. Damn, this is nostalgia. By the way, as you just saw, I leveled up again. I actually have six shields, but the sixth one never shows, as the game only shows five on the screen. Here, you just have to avoid stealing the wall like at the beginning, where I failed. Mode 4 is especially pretty much easy mode. should come right after this. Although I wouldn't really call it a mini, actually. Actually, it had its own lightning notification, so I guess the full boss. It's just not the only one on the stage. Another boss. Looking like Godzilla, pretty much. That electric orb thing, as you can see, grabs the attention of your satellites, which I guess will be an issue for other weapons in mode 4. But Photon goes right through it anyway, which I think it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't really matter what mode you use for this, as long as you use the Pokemon. Oh, well, that was quick. I remember that taking like a good 5 to 8 minutes on most other weapons back then. I like how there's this random soundtrack that actually belongs more in a beat em up game, like those classic Double Dragon and Final Fight games. And the 
this big ass bird is apparently the final boss. And I just got hit there. Well, that was cool. It's all really because of the photon. That boss should really take a while. And that's the game in hard mode. Hope you all enjoyed that. We'll be doing more, and if you guys have any games in mind, just send us a message. This is the ending. Somehow my ship's destroyed. I don't really recall getting destroyed, but alright. I guess a hero isn't a hero unless he dies. I like how they're just ignoring me there. trying to write my fucking name. Don't even know how to enter it. I guess I gotta put on a last character or something. Answer button's not working. And that's that.